you an enemy. All them lies you telling, I can't let that be the end of me. No, no, probably cause your girl feeling me. It's a flag on the play, all these catching penalties. Look, I don't like your energy. I don't like the fake handshake snake tendency. Let's go. Don't make me jog your memory. I did upgrade you, didn't upgrade it. The world, how they forgetting me? Please make it make some sense to me. How you talking about the greatest still ain't greatest? Mention me. Them bands, I want the symphony. Uh, 15 in it, went instantly. Uh, lately I've been catching plays, it's like it's meant to be. I got rich in the pandemic, meant to be. Don't do too much, I keep it simple. You cloud chasing, trying to make the people feel you. Boys need to slow it down, I'm talking real screw. Penthouse at the top with the clear view. Oh, look, I don't like your energy. I don't like it. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Man, you an enemy. All them lies you telling, I can't let that be the end of me. No, no, probably cause your girl feeling me. It's a flag on the play, all these catching penalties. Look, I don't like your energy. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Let's go. You not my kind, I know kin to me. Heard you told my girl about all of them, that's the end of me. Why they hogging up the recipe? Heard they talking like I can't let Ken Wallace get ahead of me. Know your heart full of jealousy. All that acting tough. Damn, this must be a parody. Okay, one on one ain't no comparing me. Okay, wait, two on two, that's like four. They be sharing me. Okay, they working like the red dude. Rent got them doing. That's what I'm into. Yeah, if I'm in it, then I own it, not a rental. No, I've been plotting on the lamb and the bins cool. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't like your energy. I don't like it. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Man, you an enemy. All them lies you telling, I can't let that be the end of me. No, no, probably cause your girl feeling me. It's a flag on the play, all these catching penalties. Look, I don't like your energy. I don't like the fake handshake, snake tendency. Let's go. Back in 2003, have a look at the link. Lincoln Financial Field, where 70,000 are rocking and ready to go in Philadelphia. Today, we reach week 15, and we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. From the 10. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And they'll run with Sermon to begin the drive. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Well, this defense for the Giants, they played really well in that win last week against Miami. And as in any game, takeaways are always a big key. They're always discussed on defense. There's an emphasis there. And they came away with three interceptions in that game. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that, you start to back up. Looking for Watkins, and it's intercepted. And the Giants are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, 
But at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. For a lot of people, MVP award means the quarterback award usually. But over 100 yards again last week. And they're going to have to look his way more than once when giving out this award this season, I think. Yeah, it's not just the consistency. It's been some plays that we've seen where we talk about it for weeks thereafter. That's what we're getting out of him. Over 100 yards last week. Expects to continue that in this game, too. 23 yards to pick up there. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Walker now at first and 10. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Here's Brady. And that's caught. It's Brian Edwards. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 27 yard line. 19 yards the pick up there. Move the chains. Up the middle, here's Walker. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. To throw, it's Brady. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown, Giants. Brian Edwards, his second touchdown on the season. And the Giants use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. The extra point up and good by Garibay. And it's now a 7-0 game. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Hello. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. This to the outside. It's Sermon. Finding space at the 40. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Hey, Rimblet, Rimblet. They go play action. Now Mahomes. He's going to air one out. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And the Giants are going to take over at their own 41. Well, they're certainly not giving much up to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Here's Walker to start the drive. They'll get this up to about the 44. These two teams they met earlier in the season in Philly with the Eagles winning that ball game. So they're trying to win here in Philadelphia to capture the season series. 
The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Brady. Open target here, Darius Slayton. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Now Brady bats this forward on the jet sweep. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on it before he could get much out of it. On second down, here's Brady. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. Now Brady. He's got Slayton on the slam. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down at around the 22. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up fourth down. Off for the field goal try, Jonathan Garibay. And this a 39-yard attempt. Garibay's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. This is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Back to Sermon on first down. And he'll get what he can up the middle. Three yards. That'll bring up second down. The Eagles at 11-2 now. And they were winners their last time out, so they'll be looking to make it two in a row. And so much about football, partner, comes down to mindset. Being in the right frame of mind in the best way to get in that good frame of mind, winning. So they come in feeling good. They've got the home crowd behind them. I think they're going to be tough to beat in this one. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now Mahomes. Going down the middle, and it's complete. And he's going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They go play fake. Mahomes. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. 
One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up a first down. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. It was T.J. Edwards who brought him down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Give him seven yards on the play as they do pick up the third down conversion. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And able to work his way down to the 16. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace it. Hello. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Easy, easy, easy. 43, 43. On play action, it's Mahomes. This is caught. It's so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where's primer. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. A great play there. With touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Eagles are back within a score. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free. And this guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. And the formula there on the two-point try, they go five wide. Not even the option to hand the ball off. They got it. They tried to create space, and there isn't a whole lot of it there. For the defense, what you're trying to do is make sure that if someone, if they're going to catch the ball, Make them catch it behind you because they run out of space with the back line. But in this case, the offense figured it out. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that well, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Throwing is Brady on third down. Got a man, Slayton. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That third down conversion, good for 23. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, 
We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to... This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Brian Edwards with his second touchdown here in this first half. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Extra point up and good by Garibay. And the lead is now 17 to eight. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. We remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando and our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. 41 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Sermon now on first and 10. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts, as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Throwing again on second and 10. Mahomes, a yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Working from the gun, Mahomes able to find Waller, that's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry, we'll see. A very important third down conversion right there because when you're trailing, and find yourself this deep in enemy territory, the kicker's not even part of your thought process. You gotta make it pay off with six. Nice connection right there to set up first and goal. Throwing now is Mahomes. 
and this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Eagles are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. In motion right as a running back. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time. They failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. shot before half for Brady. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. So we come upon halftime here with the visiting Giants out on top as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead and they are set to receive this kick. Pulls it in at the 13. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. On second down, it's Walker, and they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Brady going to try and throw on third down, and that is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Right Brady going to go on fourth down. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there. But they do convert on fourth. I don't know about you, but I'm going to give them a little bit of credit for fortitude there. Fourth and inches, and they don't run the football. Normally, just wedge your way through, fall forward, find the yardage. They took a shot and put in the air, and it paid off. Maybe they saw the defense overcommitting. A lot of confidence there, though, because even if they overcommit, you just want to make sure you get the first down. You throw an incompletion on fourth down there, they're going to second guess you the rest of the game. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole defense is going to be fired up. Really nice play getting to the ball. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. It's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side won the battle, getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To throw is Brady. And the throw there going to be in. 
incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. And here's Gillen on now to punt as he gets this one away. And this will be taken at the 13. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. I like the fact that he took the shot deep downfield. Even if you don't get the catch, maybe you get a defensive penalty and pick up the yardage that way. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Now it's Mahomes again. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. And they'll try and run for the first with Sermon. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. He needed a yard. That's exactly what he got. Earns him a new set of downs. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll find Gainwell out of the backfield. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. On first and 10, it's game well. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. And Chris Barnes there on the stop. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they move this all the way down to the nine. 75 yards receiving for him now. And it's a first down. And I'll tell you what, this offense has been a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Now, quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. Well, that's a perfect example of how he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's game. He is just all around the football right now, isn't he? That he is, and it's funny because I talked with the coaching staff about drills that they do in practice, and one of them is called matching hands. And as soon as that hand is launched by the quarterback, you throw up the opposite hand and match that hand with the QB, and oftentimes you're able to knock it away, as we just saw there.
Another shot from the nine on second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. And it's caught. Touchdown. Chris Watkins. A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles have taken the lead here in this third quarter. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they... There he goes, right side. 20. Touchdown, Giants. They blitzed defensively there, but he was able to slip through that first layer, and then he was gone. I think they won the leverage game, didn't they? Yes. Right? They saw the blitz coming. That got to him a little bit, but they leveraged it perfectly and found not just a crease, a gigantic hole. And off he goes, and he's still going all the way to the end zone. The extra point up and good by Garibay, and that gives him a three-point lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Hello. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, partner, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Laddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do. So I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Let's go! On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Got a man, it's Darren Waller. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pickup there, 26 yards. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Hey, 43, 43, 15. Yellow, yellow. 15. 15. 15. Mahomes now to throw. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. To another on-target throw, and that last one, Charles, going to put him up over 5,000 yards passing out for the season, and that is not an insignificant touchdown, Eagles! A great play there, taking it in. And the Eagles answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth-quarter lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away.
And they will not get a chance to return this one. It's through the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Brady. He's got Slayton on the slant. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Straight ahead, Walker. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. Here's Brady. He's got his tight end fan. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Brady bats his forward on the jet sweep. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Now a play fake, Brady. That is taken in by the tight end fan. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A good pick up there, 21 yards. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Up the middle they run, it's Walker. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Kenneth Walker, that's rushing touchdown number 20 on the year. And the Giants have taken a fourth quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Garibay. And that gives him a three point lead. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Yellow, yellow. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that. And this is caught at the 20. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. Patrick Mahomes, he can do everything seemingly, and that time he just reared back and let it fly. And that's how you start to drive, because you know they have this play in their back pocket, waiting for the right time to unleash it. And boy, did they pick the right opportunity. Unleashed it big time, and that was also a big time throw. Flush to his right. 
And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Oh, that's good decision-making right there. Understood down and distance. Knew it wasn't third down, and he still had another opportunity to earn the first down. Good job throwing it away and avoiding an interception. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Mahomes going to throw. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Quiz Watkins with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. Elliott good with a PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the... Touchback. Hey, the Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to Walker on first down. And some room. And now off to the races down the right side. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. So minutes after giving up the lead in the fourth quarter, they say not so fast. Big play, and they grab that lead right back. Talk about a seesaw game. Up, down, up down. Did you have a seesaw? Did you play that when you were a kid? Oh, yeah. Huh? Out on the playground. Absolutely. You had to make sure that you matched weight though on the other side, though, right? <laughs> Otherwise, you could be up in the air a long time. By the way, we're not done in this one. I think we're set up for an exciting finish. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Well, as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And yeah, we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. 17 yards and a first down for Philly. On play action, it's Mahomes. He's got a man complete. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Charles, just a gigantic play right there. Absolute breakdown defensively, but take no credit away. A huge gain, and that turns things around.
So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And I think they stopped him again. They did at the one-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Mahomes. And this is caught. That's Watkins. Just a yard, but that's all they needed. And by the slimmest of margins, it'll be first and goal. Well, they got the yardage they needed there. Picked up the first down. Got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have, as well as the understanding where they are in the field? Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. And they take a knee. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. And they'll indeed take a knee. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Mahomes. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow. Well, that is the definition, Charles, of delivering under pressure. The game-winning potential. There's still a little time left on the clock, but the potential game-winning drive, and it was well executed. I think we're going to remember this possession for a long time. We've called a bunch of games, but how about how they got it done down the stretch? Absolutely terrific. Find some type of miraculous play in this last half minute. I think that touchdown just earned them the win. They really came up clutch when they needed it. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. They watched the other side just score, but remember, last time they were out, they... There he goes, right side! And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. They had just given up the lead, and they get it right back. Yeah, how about that? Answered quickly. Got right back to it, and look, Long drives have their place. We know that. They can wear teams down. But when you hit them with big plays like that, that can really be a shot to them. A big time one. Yeah, one play, but now your defense is probably saying, man, we could have used a little more rest over here. <laughs> Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. And they'll let that one go as it skips through the back of the end zone for a touchback.
Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. will throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass <laughs> like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. And that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play, and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So for the Giants, it's a 10th win of the year now as they move to 10 and four. And they will head home next week to take on the New York Jets. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, it's a loss that could hurt come playoff seeding time as they fall to 11 and three. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys.